Hey guys, it's Christopher. Uh, welcome to another Solaris tutorial. In this video, we will see how to use teletransporters. So, how to transport the hero from a map to another map, or even between a place and another place of the same map. Uh, okay. So, let's create. I will create several maps for this chapter, for this video, so I will group them in a folder Teletransportation and the first one will be called Outside W to mean Outside West uh, Light World, Overworld Let's make a very quick cliff. And a cave. So I use control to make multi selection, multiple selection here in the tile set view. I could also um, drag the mouse like this. It's even faster. Uh, Okay, let's make a cave and start with the destination here. Update the initial game script to start on this new map, teletransportation slash outside W. Okay, first let's try this. Great. Um so actually it um recall that there are a lot of types of entities in Solaris. We call entities anything that can be placed on a map. So tiles and dynamic all types. Tiles tiles are one type of entity and all other types of entities are here and they are all dynamic destination transporters. In previous videos um, we saw pickables, destructibles, chests. Um, actually these three ones were, s were, in, were covered in the video about treasures. It was tutorial number 8. Okay, let's make a teletransporter. So, a teletransporter is an entity that um, teletransports um, the hero to some other place whenever the hero walks on it. So we can double click. Teletransporter, teletransporters can have a sprite and in the resource pack we have the teletransporter sprite of Zelda. Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. They can also play a sound when they are used and the sound is warp in Zelda. This one. You can choose the type of transition and you have to choose a uh, destination map. So for now it will be the same map and actually I will create another destination for that. So create another destination Sorry, with so destinations can also have a sprite, and we have it no here. Okay, um, great. Um, yes, yeah, so teletransporters in the teletransporter editor, you don't um, hard code some coordinates, some destination coordinates, because um, it would be a problem as soon as something I, I don't know you move you move the cliff one day uh, and the de destination coordinates of the destinations of destination have changed so it's much it's much easier to refer to a, actually an entity um, but we we are going to need proper names for our destinations. As especially when there are several 
on the same map. So this one we will call we call it from um, cave. And when you rename a, a, te a destination, by the way, you can choose wh whether or not existing teletransporters leading to this destination should be updated to the new name because they refer to the name to the destination by its name so usually it will be yes um, okay this one is called from cave and this one um, yeah it will be called just destination one Okay, so let's finish our teletransporter. Now that the destination exists, we can say that we want to lead to destination 1. Okay, great. So the hero ends up on the destination looking north because the direction of the destination is up. You can choose the particular the special direction, keep the same direction for this kind of teletransporter. So if I take this transporter looking to the right, I'm still looking to the right. So that's better for this kind of teletransporter. Okay, now let's make an inside map and see how to uh, link two maps together. And it will be called, I don't know, cave. With the cave tile set, the cave music. And, okay, so you can make your room but um, there is this special map inside store in the pack that has already um, some rooms all inside tile sets so tile sets of dungeons, caves, houses are compatible which means that if you copy paste this they will just work with the other tile set so that's a room. Um, don't hesitate while, uh, when I mean um, when your game, when you make progress in your game, uh, you will have more and more maps, and these these store maps will be very useful. You you should put a lot of things here. And yeah, let's uh, take the entrance. Copy paste. Okay, like this. So, uh, destination here. So we will arrive here, looking to the north always this time. And the test transporter should be here under the 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 roof. <laughs> Under, under the ceiling and to do that just disable layer 2 and you can see what you do so the, the transporter will be here and we have to override this wall here by putting another floor um, so normally like this but on layer oh the day transporter is on the wrong layer okay and you also need to block the hero yeah so and if you put the la second layer again it works actually this one is not really useful because it's outside the map uh, yeah. so we have a destination, a teletransporter again let's give a proper name to the destination from outside 
can hear this stage transporter should lead to outside west from cave. Okay, save. And now back to outside west. You can make the last stage transporter here. It should lead to cave and to from outside. Okay, and that's it. If I take the stage transporter, okay. And here it works. Perfect. So these are two types of teletransporters the animated visible ones, um, th also, uh, you have teletransporters leading to the same map and teletransporter leading to another map. Um, there are other kinds of teletransportation the special you have special teletransportation destination here uh, we, and I want to show you a uh, side of the map it's actually useful to scroll between two adjacent maps okay so now maybe you understand why I called this map outside west because surprise surprise there will be outside east and let's make something very quick oh <laughs> okay wrong tile set not a problem light world that's better And I will make another teletransporter, but on the side like this. So to make it work, it has to be outside the map, just outside the border of the map, like this, with a width of 16. And the height can be, you, you could do it like this actually. Um, uh, size for example like this but um, I always do it on the whole map and the whole map size and uh, yeah so transition this time you will prefer probably scrolling and the destination map outside east and the destination will this time not be a real destination entity but instead the side of the map and the engine will automatically detect that this teletransporter is on the right of this map so it will automatically scroll through to the left of this map okay it works I just forgot to put some music and to put another teletransporter back to the previous map. Okay. Oh, it's not working. What did I do? No error message. Scrolling outside west. First of all, it should be side of the map here. Okay, that's better. Great. So, um, yeah. Teletransporter to the same map, teletransporters to a destination of another map, and teletransporter to the side, scrolling to the side of another map. Um, we will see more kinds of teletransportations in another tutorial. But um, there is something important about changing maps, um, is it's the save game. So what happens if you save? For example, I go back to the cave save I will actually restart in the cave 
because by default the save game location is updated when so not when the map changes but when the world changes and the world is a property of maps an, an optional property so by default there is no uh, world name here and when there is no world name which is the case of all our three maps when there is no world property uh, the map is, is considered to be in its unique own world different from all others so that's why uh, the start position was saved when I arrived here this is the default behavior of destinations it can be customized if you want uh, you can change it here for, for each destination actually by default it will update the save game when the world changes but you can force the destination to always do it or to never do it if you want okay um, so let's in this example we would want to um, put this, the common world property to both outside maps so that when we use this teletransporter and arrive here if we save we want to restart here and not somewhere on this map which uh, would not even work because um, there we, we didn't enter the map with a proper destination but from the side but um, anyway in what we would need to do is to put a world name here so you can put any name you want the important thing is that do the same for all maps that should be linked um, as far as the save game is concerned so usually if you if you do a big dungeon with composed of several maps you will probably put them in the same world so that whenever you save in the dungeon um, when the player restart his game the, he will restart at the entrance of the whole dungeon and, the, and not uh, somewhere on, on a particular map of the dungeon outside outside in this one if it's really a, a single unique map of a small cave maybe we don't need to set a world again by default it will it will just be considered to be in its own unique world okay um the world property is is used for other um, details but um really the, the most important feature of world is about save games and you can customize this if you want for each, each destination uh okay that's all for now um please like the video if you liked the video <laughs> and see you next time we'll see more kinds of teletransportation bye